Okay, we'll give it a 30 more seconds and then we'll start. Only 6.58. Yeah, but just because I'm early. All right. <laughs> Six fifty-eight. Okay, two minutes. I haven't walked in late, but I did walk in. Yeah. You six fifty-nine and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were on time, though. You were on time. We didn't reprimand you up that one. The whole, the whole place like turns and looks at me as I walk in, and I'm like, oh, it's going to the back. Over the last. No, was that last one? Yeah. Time before. Like I walked in at. No, I'm... for for the cannabis one or. Uh, it was one of the last two. I can't remember which one it was, but I was coming from work and coming straight, I came running straight here. And uh, actually, I stopped at home to grab something to eat and like literally run out the door, eat and then grab a drink. And I showed up in here and it was, I, I kid you not, it was and a half. I think you have like a LaCroix too that you had to open. Oh, I always like. <laughs> Because <laughs> a lot of times when like I want to be before they leave them, yes. Yeah. So like I'm like I can run past my house all the time. But how do they answer that? Do they eat today with your something like what's that? And I put something in my stomach and not like if I put something in the file of my I also I also have Oh, now? Okay, let's go. All right, gentlemen, let's get the uh, meeting to order. Hey, ladies. Um, can I get a roll call, please, for the agenda? Oh, sorry, for this. <laughs> I'm totally, I'm totally lost it today. Can I get a roll call? Brian Boos. Here. Lydia Galante. Here. Nemes Johnny. Joe Lewis. Here. Terry Wallach. Here. Jason Wirtz. Here. Chairman Patel. Here. Okay, can I get a motion to approve the agenda? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, can I get a motion to approve the minutes from the May 2nd meeting? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. In consideration of the meetings, um, can I, can I uh, the first thing on the agenda is PZ22111. Can I get a motion to open the public hearing for that? Make that motion as well. Second. Okay, roll call, please. Jason Wirtz. Yes. Brian Boos. Yes. Lydia Galante. Aye. Joe Lewis. Yep. Terry Wallach. Yes. Uh, Chairman Patel. Yes. Who would you like to present? Would love to. Um, so the public hearing tonight is PZ twenty three dash one 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 one. Um, the subject property is 1325 West Lake Street, um, and the request is to consider a zoning map amendment from ORI Office Research Light Industrial District to the M Limited Industrial District. Um, so the subject property is, I think we all generally know it as the Case Foundation property. It's on the south side of Lake Street. Um, Bryn Mawr Avenue kind of dead ends into the property. Um, it is surrounded on the north um, by uh, B5, Arterial Business District, which is in the village. Um, and then to the south and west is unincorporated DuPage County. So south is R4 single family and west is uh, B2 local business district. Um, the property was originally annexed into the village in 1986. Um, and upon annexation, it was zoned ORI, the Office Research Light Industrial District, um, with the sole use being a contractor's office and yard, um, which was Case's business. They um, obviously made foundations and um, other sorts of contracting needs. Um, so as part of the 2023 zoning ordinance update, um, we revised some of the um, uses within the ORI district, um, mainly due to uh, how the buildings that were being zoned ORI were actually being used. Um, so if you think about the zoning map, ORI is generally everything on um, Gary Avenue. So you have a lot of um, transportation, warehouse and assembly, um, with offices. 
Um, and so we focus the useless, the permitted and special uses in that um, zoning district to reflect more of the character of those businesses. Um, and now that um, Case Foundation sold the property in 2021, and so the current owners are sort of um, reviewing how the property can be used. Uh, there are multiple buildings on the lot, um, and there's a lot of sort of built-in heavy equipment. So there are cranes and um, there's soldering equipment and um, vehicle repair bays. Um, so as they're reviewing um, potential tenants, they came to the village to kind of discuss what was possible. And upon the change in the zoning ordinance, we kind of looked at it and realized that the unlimited industrial district um, suits the physical character of the site more so now than the ORI districts. Um, so staff recommended that they uh, go through the zoning map amendment process um, to see if they can uh, rezone the property to M limited industrial. Um, M, if you think about the village, is uh, the Roselle Commerce, Commerce Center on Central Avenue, um, where Public Works is located. You have the properties on North Garden, and then all of the properties on uh, Medina Road. Um, so uh, in discussion with the current owners and review of the past use of the Case Foundation site, um, staff believes that the M Limited Industrial District is better suited um, for the property and future uses of the property instead of the ORI district, which is what it is now. Um, and then the 2016 Comprehensive Plan Future Land Use Map indicates commercial for the entire south side of Lake Street, including the subject property. That concludes my report. Karen, is the property being used right now or no? Yes. Um, so the property is being used by uh, several different businesses that um, the petitioner can speak to. Um, it's uh, the offices are being used um, and some of the tenants, I believe, are trucking companies that are located, their offices are located on site and they have some of their uh, trucks and equipment parked in the former sort of uh, equipment yard to the south of the property. Any questions from the commissioners? Appreciate the chart from there. Yeah. Um, I mean, banking and restaurants, I think, is is what impacted on this with this change, in my opinion. But if if that doesn't impact the current usage, yes, I'm okay with it. Um, does the petitioner have anything to present? No. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Um, my name is Dave. In first. Can I swear in? Um, and, and then do you just want to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Can I get your name and address as well, please? Absolutely. My name is Dan Hanlon, H A N L O N. I'm with the law firm of Mark Horton, Belmonte, PC. We are located at 311 South County Farm Road, Suite I in Wheaton, Illinois, 60187. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm here on behalf of uh, the petitioner for Telly Holdings LLC. We do have several members here. If there ever was a question that I couldn't answer and they need to answer, but that was literally everything I could have said. So I really have nothing more to add beyond that. Uh, there is office use out there. There is some commercial parking that is associated with the office use, but uh, generally um, everything that was said is why we're here. Okay, thank you. Um, anybody from the general public that wants to, or the audience that wants to present or have any concerns? Can I have you come to the podium? I'd, I'd like to have to swear you in first though. Can I get your name and address? On Kinney Road, okay. Roselle. And then you raise your right hand up, please. And then do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, the whole truth? Yeah. Question. Not sure I heard. Did you say unlimited? Can you speak into the microphone? Sorry, you can bend it down too. Uh, is it unlimited uh, zoning? No, it's um M limited industrial. So the name, the title of the zoning district is limited industrial. And does, would that be a high traffic type of thing? Is, is there a lot of traffic? I live right, I abut, I abut the property and it would be, it would interfere with 
my quality of life, depending upon how much noise and light uh, would be available to them. So the zoning district is M, and within that zoning district is a list of uses which are either permitted by right or by special use. So they have to come and ask them the village permission to do that. Um, so the question you would have is would be based on each individual use, not the entire zoning district as a whole. Okay, I'll I'll wait and find out what more to discuss. Thank you. Do they have access to the chart that you have? Yeah, that's on the website. Yeah, so you can you can review the uh, the chart of the website. It tells you exactly what the differences between the ORI and the M district changes are. Yeah, ma'am, I I think the use the zoning use that's being asked the it got changed when the village changed it. So this zoning would go back to the use that it's been. If that's how I'm understanding how the property's been being used. For a period of time. So just because the zoning is changing doesn't mean the use is actually changing. Okay. Any other questions from the audience? Yes, can I have you come to the podium as well, please, sir? If it's we, we can we can swear you in from there if you'd like. Yeah, it's you up can, to you. you can remain seated there if you And then, sir, can I get your uh, name and address, please? My name is Kenneth Schnuck, S-N-O-E-C-K, 6N351 Keeney Road. And then, would you, can I ask you to raise your right hand up, and then, if you don't mind, um, do you swear to tell the truth, all the truth, nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. Uh, our property immediately abuts the subject property as well. Uh, it's happening pretty much in our backyard. Uh, we really are concerned about what is the end game here. Since uh, we received uh, offers on our property about two and a half, three years ago, uh, where they had plans for a very large warehouse to be built on the property. Since then, that uh, multiple trucking firm has been a car park. They park trucks overnight, including auto haulers, reefers, and other trucks. Uh, that are dropped at all times of night and day. Uh, so the quality of our life has been impacted. And if the use is to be what it has been over the last year and a half, that makes a big difference to me who love that. What's, what's the end game here? Is that something that the petitioner can comment on? I guess to address the, the first speaker, there was an issue uh, or a, a comment about lighting and things of that nature. We'd be bound to comply with all the village codes in terms of lighting, lease of the property, things of that nature. So it wouldn't be an unlimited type of use to do whatever we want out there. Um, there is no current plan to make any changes in terms of the use. Uh, of course, any changes uh, would, uh, if it's not a permitted use, we'd have to come back before uh, the village again to allow us to uh, do any change that would be permitted. But uh, as we sit here today, there is no current future tenant. There's no one developing the property beyond what's there right now. Uh, but that doesn't mean it won't change. But of course, if, if it's in violation of the ordinance or we need special use, permitted or uh, uh, special use, we'd have to come back and ask. Did that answer? I think so. No? Yes, please. Um, at, at the beginning, you may have heard, uh, we're here mostly and not mostly, but the village has asked to come in and ask for the change because it's consistent with their overall comprehensive plan and zoning map. The use we're using now is, is, is my understanding, it's permitted under what we have. So we wouldn't necessarily have to come in and ask for the change to use what we're doing now. Um, um, I, 
if you if there's any individual questions, I'd like to have them post post on the podium, please. I mean, I don't. Please, can we have you come to we the have podium, to please? Get sworn in. I'm Pamela Snook. I live at six N three five one Keeney in Roselle. Do you swear to tell the truth, all truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I would. Yes, I do. I would like someone to answer my question. What's the end game? What's the end game for their company? And what's the end game for why the, why is the planning commission asking for them to change the zoning? What trip what tripped that switch? that you need them to change the zoning. Because he said you approached him about changing the zoning. Did you just say that? So we just updated the zoning ordinance earlier this year. Okay. And is there a problem with what he's zoned at right now? then why are you asking for a change back? I'm not asking oh, I'm sorry. for anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that seems to have the information on the map. Why is, this, why is the zoning board asking for it to be changed back? So the zoning board isn't. The petitioner is asking sure. to change the zoning. Okay. <laughs> why is the petitioner asking to have the change back? As we said, we're not sure what uses are going to be put out there. What this zoning change allows for is a, a broader spectrum of less invasive use, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um, I've heard complaints about, and only three of you spoke, but uh, the truck noise, things of that nature. This may allow us to do something more retail out there versus something more commercial industrial. Um, and, and again, this is consistent with what the village's plan is for that particular area of, of town. But as we sit here today, there's no lease on the property to make it into any other use or anything along those lines. Right. So I guess I, uh, I know you're looking for me to tell you, oh, it's gonna be X, Y, Z. I can't do that for you today. Let me attempt to, uh, to answer that question a little bit more to give you more clarity. We're gonna see if we can put a chart up on the screen. It will show you the differences between what the, um, the ORI, ORI versus the M, um, let me know what you means. So that, that should provide some, some, uh, some information for you. Can we do that? And this is on the website, by the way, as well. I don't think it map. Yeah, there you go. If you just open up the packet, Ashton. Thanks. You keep going. It's I think the last two pages. Page twenty of twenty one. Yeah. Yes, I mean. We can, sh you can find this online later as well. The green is what it would be moved to, and yeah. the yellow is what it is. So you can see the uses. Automobile and truck repair, automobile and truck sales, daycare center, food prep. Home Garden Center, Home Garden Celebrated, and Home Fest for Teens. Kennel, Marijuana Cultivation Center, Fencing Organization, barely had one of those. Offices, Professional Assistance, <laughs> Broadcast and Recording Studio, Restaurants. What is 
temporary. Trade school, uh, shooting range, stadium or arena. Are you there? So check it out. <laughs> Utility public service use. There's contractors' office, food production, fuel storage, greenhouse. What is the community in? Permitted. The S is no P is permitted, and oh. S is would need a special use permit. They'd have to come back here for us. General Manufacturing Limited, public and private utility facilities, machinery sales, mini warehouse, monument sales, warehousing and logistic facilities, wholesale establishments, accessory uses. What is that? Um, so that's just an accessory use to the the main use of the property. For example. I don't have one. <laughs> what is an accessory use? Yeah, I mean it's it just it would depend on what they're asking. That we don't have specific accessory uses listed in the code. But that's not a change from ORI to M. I mean, it's not at the boat. Built regulated uses, personal wireless communication facilities, plan development, temporary building or structure has a cleanup spirit, small cell antenna right away, small cell antenna private property. So, yeah, so I mean, if you look at the differences between the yellow and the green, for the most part, they're almost same, but the, the differences are government facilities, for example, and then research and development facilities, right? Those would uh, no longer apply to the green segment, which is M, but they do apply to, to, the, uh, to the ORI. Um, in terms of additions, you'll have fuel storage greenhouses as an example. That's that's now a new usage for under the M category. Adult regulatory uses as well. That's something that's new within the M category as well. But for the most part, I mean, they're they're pretty close. There's not much difference between the ORI and the M. Is like does this help? You need can to I, come can on I to the podium. Tips? Sorry about that. Can I get your name and address, please, sir? Festo 6N281 Keeney Road. And then can I have your raised right hand? Um, do you swear to tell the truth, all the truth, not for the truth? Thank you. Do the residents that property butts the proposed property, <laughs> do they have any say in this? Say it became a fuel storage place. Okay. You know, affect groundwater and runoff and different things. I mean. And I, I feel that there is some end game. If it's we're being fuel fixed. storage is a special use. It's under special to use. Come back and ask. They have to come that. back. It's under special use terminology, and they have to come back and get the uh, the approved. Uh, it, a lot of these are special use. It's only the ones that are P, which is permitted. They can just do it by themselves as long as they're following all of our existing village codes. Is there any representatives of the property here present tonight? Aside from. They care to tell us maybe what the end game is, why they're trying to purchase people's property in the neighborhood. Yes, I don't know if um, I mean I don't want to sidebar the question here, but the objective of this meeting is to basically approve the um, the M status for this for this particular lot. I don't think we're in a position, at least if any commissioner can comment on this. I don't think we're in a position to actually comment on why purchase of adjacent lots and everything else are happening because that's not part of this meeting. It might not be part of. Meeting on your end, but if the representative is here, he may ask folks questions as to what the actual intention is. This you meeting, you, you if you want to call him, you call. Him. Yeah, call him, Mr. Chairman. This meeting is not a public hearing; it has not been advertised. And well, I, I, I have a question that we're not taking. So, all our addresses on 
Okay. So Terry, I mean, if, if it's a simple question, if it's something that the um, that the auditor can, can answer it, then I'd rather give this the opportunity to answer it. Please ask us, is the owner here of the property? Do they want to comment? No, I just, I missed that, that paragraph. Sorry. It's, uh, it, it's kind of in broadening what the meeting agenda was for and what the public hearing for this parcel. And now we're expanding it to adjacent parcels. And I'm concerned that we're limiting or expanding the limitations of our review. I don't think I need to swear to because this is a part of the meeting. I'm going to swear to it. So it's so sworn in. Oh, but, oh, Hello, yes. I'm Brian Marino. Can I have you? Can I swear you in, please? Can I get your name and address? Brian Marino, uh, 5N 450 Carriage Way Drive. Park. Okay. And do you swear to tell the truth, all truth, and nothing but the truth? Okay. So this isn't part of the meeting, just to clarify. I mean, it wasn't part of the, uh, the um, uh, agenda, but there is a question from the audience. I was wondering if you would be willing to answer it. I mean, the question is, is related to adjacent lots, um, there's an, I, I think you've expressed an interest to purchase adjacent lots and uh, the individual, uh, like to find out what, the, what, what your intentions are. Yeah, we had a couple of homeowners approach us actually, uh, if they were interested in selling. Previous owners may have uh, asked them as well. I don't know. Uh, okay. We have no plans right now for the future with the economy the way it is, but you know, we are developers. Uh, we developed uh, Amperage Electric, Italian Pizza Kitchen. That's what we do for a living. Yeah. Uh, right now, we're just trying to make the best use of the property. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hey, any other questions as it pertains to the agenda for this meeting? All right. Can I close? The, um, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, Karen, was there anything uh, submitted in advance from, uh, from online or anything like that? No. Okay. We have a question. Will we be notified when they decide what they're going to be doing so we can get some further information? If it's a special use. If it's if it's under the special use category, then you'll be notified, yes. Okay, so I, I would have a chance to bring further questions up at yes. that time. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, we, were, we were notified of the public hearing by Dan here. Mm -hmm. Will we be notified by the village? Because see, we're kind of in a limbo spot. We don't live in Roselle. We have a mailing address in Roselle. Our property abuts to Roselle. So we don't get, we're not on, I mean, I get the Roselle library thing, but I can't go there and check out a book. Um, so how will we know? I'm gonna re I'm gonna refer that question to Karen so she can give you the the process that we follow for notifications. Um, so you would only be notified if they're requesting a special use. Any permitted uses, um, would you would not be legally we would not be legally obligated to notify you of that because it's permitted. It's by code, and they would just let you know what they're gonna do permit wise. Any business would have to register with the village, and if okay. they're doing any construction on the property, they would need to get a permit for that. Okay. Okay, but if something changes, would you let us know, or does Dan let us know? The village puts a sign in front of the property uh, notifying about the public hearing, and the village also posts in the Daily Herald uh, that, hey, there's going to be a public hearing at such and such date. And you meet the first... Tuesday of every month? Yeah, the agendas are on the website, like all the information up there, that's just straight off the village's public website. Like we, we as uh, commissioners get the same information that the public do. Right. And I think the last time that I looked for the planning commission stuff was during COVID. And hmm. Good luck with that. We were here. Okay, does the... Um, is there anybody else from the public? Is there anybody else from the public that wants to say something, please? Can I have you come to the podium? Like to swear you in, so if you could please tell me your name and your address. Plus six N three seven one Keith Road, Roselle, Illinois six zero one seventeen. And then, do you spell it out the truth, all truth, not the truth? Thank you.
Um, my house, um, exactly. It's like, I think the main house that backs up to uh, this lot. Um, about a year ago, we had a meeting at Woodland Doors um, to rezone Lake Street Corner zoning. Is this the same thing? I feel like I recognize. Me. one or two of yes yeah I think I recognize you from that meeting and there was a Lake Street mm -hmm. big meeting for that is this in conjoining with the same thing no so that is um the Lake Street zoning overlay project which is done um being handled by DuPage County the village is a participant in it because we have um obviously property on Lake Street um as well as Bloomingdale and Hanover Park yep. um this is separate from that they're another developer so the, not to get off on a tangent, but the Lake Street overlay is um, not necessarily a developer coming in and changing anything. It's uh, adjusting the zoning so that if a developer does come in, whether they're, it's in the county, whether they remain unincorporated or it's in Roselle or Hanover or Bloomingdale, we have all agreed on sort of types of uses and how buildings should look and how buildings should be placed on a lot so that it's uniform across the whole street. It kind of seems similar to what's going on. Yeah, they're related, but not directly related. So it's not the same company doing the same thing. It's no. just this zoning. Yes. Okay, anybody else from the audience have anything to say, comments, questions, concerns? Um, does the commission have any questions or statements that they'd like to make? No, if nobody has if any further comments, I'd like to move to close the public I hearing. I agree. So um, can I get a motion to close the public hearing? A second. Roll call, Karen. Jason Wertz. Yes. Barry Wallach. Yes. Joseph Lewis. Yes. Uh, Lydia Glante. Yes. Brian Booz. Yes. Chairman Patel. Yes. Okay. Commissioners, any other further discussion you'd like to do before we move forward? I mean, I'm only seeing five different uses on here if I'm reading through this. And, you know, I think I, I would assume that most of the public and the neighbors and people see a zoning change and there's an immediate fear reaction to it. And But there's only five, there's only five new items that they could do here. And if we just actually even look at those, yeah, and there's no changes to the status between PS and uh, temporary. So, I mean, um, that, that all remains the same. So, an animal house, an animal hospital would be a special use. Automotive re repair would be permitted under the new, but automotive trucks and all that's already allowed. So that's not a change. Um, home and garden center probably not going to happen, but would be a permitted use. Especially, I'm sorry, home and garden center would be a permitted use. Home and garden greater than 100,000 square feet would be special use. Dog kennel, permitted use. Marijuana cultivation is special use. Broadcasting is a permitted use. And adult regulated uses. Those are the only changes beyond what's there today. Everything else that they're doing there today is permitted and allowed. So I don't see much of a reason if this allows for better and highest use of the land. I don't see a reason to not allow it. It's yeah. not going to change how it's used today. So, Lydia, Terry? No, that summarized my, my comments perfect. I think I just want to say, just to clarify so that it's on the camera, that um, if this gets approved through the village board and everything, homeowners would not get notified of a permitted use only if the owners of this property wanted a special use, then they would have to come back here and the same process would happen again. Okay. And um, let me just go through this one more time. So the so the changes that 
that that I can see through this uh, this, this attachment four, um, majority of them are all permitted uses anyway. So they've actually eliminated those permitted uses. So for the most part, I think we're safe. All right. Um, can I get a motion to approve the findings of fact for uh, for a zoning map amendment for PZ two three one 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 one? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Terry Wallach. Yes. Brian Boos. Yes. Lydia Galante. Yes. Joseph Lewis. Yes. Jason Words. Yes. Chairman Patel. Yes. Can I get a motion to recommend approval of a zoning map, zoning map amendment to the village board for PC 231111? So moved. Second. Roll call. Terry Wallach. Aye. Yes. Brian Boos. Aye. Jason Wirtz. Yes. Joseph Lewis. Yes. Lydia Glante. No. Herman Patel. Yes. So that concludes the um, the zoning map amendment. Um, Karen, this will be on the probably on the June twenty sixth village board meeting agenda. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Is there any old business that we'd like to talk about? We have the training on the twenty second in this room. Okay. New business. All right, can I get a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Meeting adjourned. Second. Yeah, I'm like, I'm pretty certain I put it in the calendar. Yes. Didn't I? Seven o'clock. It's us and.